Poof! And so, Plasma unfortunately decided to take care of that matter that was making it a complete trash, and everyone was happy about and laughing at them. Obviously I mean this ridiculous overview, that can only bring tears of joy to everyone who hates Plasma, and despair and sorrow to anyone using it. But all those are now gone, because Plasma is working on a brand new overview. And by brand new, we mean what everyone else does for 2 billion years already. That's basically a work in progress and there are lots of merge requests and unfinished stuff, so I can't review it just yet. But I'm pretty sure that Plasma developers will nail it, and will allow different wallpapers per desktop and workspaces rearrange, and all those things that GNOME is still missing even if they have introduced that design more than 10 years ago. But anywho, let me demonstrate to you what works so far. For start, we can't preview the workspaces, for example this one, unless we click them and get immediately inside them. From here we can also move the windows to another desktop. But again the preview issue hits the usability at its heart. Things like those are easy to be fixed, and they will get fixed. But I'm not so sure what will happen with this panel, that currently is dead, and I hope to make it working on Overview 2 without exiting it. That would be so great! and it is definitely one of the most intelligent design accomplishments in GNOME Shell. Another super design coming straight from GNOME Shell is the search entry directly from Windows Overview. So we can bind the super key and let the magic rock and roll. A major difference with GNOME Shell though, is that we don't have dynamic virtual desktops. Instead we can add as many we want even if empty. Personally I prefer that, assuming in the future we'll be able to reorder them, automatically open applications on each, and set individual wallpapers. So we can create more exclusive workflows which is the whole point of virtual desktop anyways. Now, no matter how much I hate to say it, it is the first time I actually enjoyed my staying in Plasma, and made this movie without any complaints from the desktop, even if the experience isn't very polished at the moment. But you have nothing to worry about, because I know how to strike Plasma already, and strike it hard maybe. In the meantime complete this if you haven't already, so I can publish the reports. Because right now Plasma beats GNOME, and that is unacceptable.